What's up everyone, I'm GKB and today on Gamers Knows Best, I want to talk about the cooling system the Scorpio will be using. So let's go ahead and get into the video. You know I love Microsoft, they come out and talk about the Scorpio and use words like vapor chamber cooling and we were like, oh my god, what is that? It sounds so cool and new, but in actuality, it's been around for some time. It's used in the PC uh, realm for CPU and GPU cooling. Now this is not to take anything away from what Microsoft is doing because it's great tech and we are going to talk about what it is and the benefits of this cooling system. So we can't talk about the new cooling without talking about what's in the OG Xbox and the Xbox One S first. So the OG Xbox uses a beefy heatsink with heat pipes running through fins. This is a picture of the actual heatsink on the original Xbox One. A fan is attached to the top to push air through the fins and the pipes. As the chips are being used to play games, they build up heat. That heat is transferred to the heat sink and the fan cools it off. They all work in unison to keep the core temps of the chip within acceptable ranges. All right, so that's out of the way. We know our basic heat sink cooling is. So what the hell is vapor chamber cooling? Well, simply, it's a vacuum sealed flat metal container with a working fluid inside that as it heats up, it changes from a fluid to a gas. The gas moves around inside the vapor chamber. In the Scorpio's case, it moves into the fins of the heat sink where it cools down and changes back into a liquid where it travels via a wicking material back to the heat source. What's really awesome about vapor chamber technology is its ability to spread heat in any direction, which makes it much more efficient cooling system than your standard heat sink and fan. I also want to mention the copper also extends to the memory modules on the Scorpio to pull heat away from them as well as they tend to get pretty hot. So why is this so important in the Scorpio? Well, if Microsoft learned anything from the 360 days is that cooling cannot be skimped on. With the overclock they are achieving on the Jaguar architecture and the six teraflops GPU, and let's be honest here, AMD's GPU tend to run a bit on the hot side. This cooling is paramount to keeping the Scorpio cool and the performance where it needs to be. If they used a standard cooling method found in the Xbox or the Xbox One S, you would see temps out of control, performance issues, and ultimately parts failing, much like what happened in the Xbox 360. The benefits for using this cooling solution are great. The Scorpio engine will be cool and running efficiently, much like the whole design of the Scorpio. I think they took the word efficient, put it on the wall, and built the Scorpio around that. Other benefits of using this cooling solution is they tend to be super quiet as the fan does not need to run at super high RPMs to keep it cool. It can run at much lower RPMs to achieve the cooling needed. Speaking of fans, they are using a centrifugal fan. Now, as I stated before, the gas rises into the fins. The fan then pushes the air across those fins, cooling it back to a liquid, and the cycle repeats over and over as the Scorpio is running. As you can see, Microsoft has really thought about every single aspect of the Scorpio to make it efficient and hit its performance goals. Now, I have some more Scorpio tech videos coming, so stay tuned for that. I'm GKB. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you like me doing these kinds of videos, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. I will see you in the next one. And as always, take care of your fellow gamers.